When your pet needs urgent care, you need animal emergency care. Staffed with caring veterinary professionals with a state-of-the-art facility. Open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for emergencies only. Animal Emergency Care in Bellingham and online at animalemergencycare.net. Cranky Cat is not her official name, <laughs> but that's what we're calling her. Hi, Laura Clark from the Watkin Humane Society. Good morning. She means well. Um, I think it is a testament to my terrible driving. <laughs> I woke her up too early. Oh, yeah. And, you know, when that happens... You're cranky. You're cranky. So I'd like to introduce you to Sweezy. She's nine years young. Sweezy. That sounds like a hip kind of street name. Sweezy. She has a lot on her mind. She's very opinionated. And she's spectacular. What happened to her tail? I don't know. It's a mystery. Okay. She's also got extra toes on her feet. So that's known as like a, a Hemingway cat. Um, I have a polydactyl cat. He's epic. You do have to watch the nails, though, because the, the extra toe nails, mm. they, don't, they can't scratch them on a regular scratcher. So you do have to watch uh, that. Okay. She's wonderful. Her person passed away, left oh. her behind. She is, let's just talk about it. She's a little overweight. She needs to lose a few pounds, don't we all? I mean, so we can commiserate with that. <laughs> um, so she is almost resolution season, right? So maybe you and the cat can both, you know. I like new this. year, new me type of situation. I like is. this. <laughs> she also does get a little overstimulated, so when she bites Dave, okay. I'm gonna put her right here. <laughs> don't jump off though. Kitty. When she bites Dave, we will know. <laughs> Um, she's a really nice cat, but she's stressed out. Yeah, and well, it's a weird place. It is. It's a weird place. She doesn't know what's going on. She misses her person. She's just looking for a low-key home where she can hang out, probably a home with no other pets, a home with a retired person where she can just watch the world go by. She'd be fantastic. Yeah. All right. Well, she definitely does take charge. You let her out of that carrier. She's marching across the studio like, I'm here now. She's. She's I'll gonna, be giving the orders. She's going to run a household, and she's epic. She's just fantastic. She is just a cranky pants. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she cranky. looks like she's plotting to kill me later. She's like, as soon as she lets go of me, <laughs> forget about it. All right. I don't want to body shame, but, uh, uh, you know, the health of your critter is important. I assume that she needs to be put on a low-cal diet and maybe just get maybe a little healthier. Just maybe not one of those free feeders. <laughs> exactly. Right. And the thing about overweight kitties is um, she's she's a risk for diabetes, yeah. heart issues. She doesn't clean herself very well, so she does. She needs somebody who can invest in her future because she's only nine years old. She should be able to live another 10 years easily with proper care. Okay. Very good. Sweezy is her name, and she's available for adoption now at the Watkin Humane Society. I assume that's the name she came in with? It is. They're also calling her Sweet One. Um, I'm not sure she really suits that name, <laughs> although she is very sweet when she's comfortable. Okay. Which is not right now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I was petting her earlier, and she seemed to be enjoying it, but then, she you know, does. your warning worried me a little bit. She's going to go back now. We're going to have a timeout. Okay. Timeout. Nice to meet you, Sweezy. Oh, good All right, okay. Sweezy, looking for a new ho ho home. Is it at your place? Bye bye. She's available for adoption now at the Watkin Humane Society. Let's let her out of that carrier and let her take charge somewhere else. She would be fantastic if she has her own couch and she would like half of the bed. She promises she doesn't need the whole bed, just half. Available for adoption now at the Watkin Humane Society. <laughs> Laura Clark, thank you so much. Have a great week.